This is Tales from the Baseball Thesaurus. I'm Jesse Goldberg Strassler. The dugout. Maybe you might think, thinking of the term, hearing the term, seeing it written out, dug out. All right, this makes sense. And then, as a matter of fact, yes, the dugout was dug down. There were no dugouts when baseball first started. And then when they were introduced, and the historian Peter Morris has traced the term back to 1908 and the Brooklyn Eagle. The thinking being for the origin of the dugout was to allow fans the chance to see the game better. So you dug down into the ground, you put the players below the field and that way fans would be able to see the field a little bit easier. So the thinking goes, rather than having all those players watching the game and blocking their way. Now you see players leaning over the railing the railing now being a mandated thing. Otherwise, it would be a lot easier to hit a foul ball into the dugout. And about those foul balls into the dugout, those are heat seeking missiles. If a foul ball does get lined in, there's this thinking in baseball circles that it's an ugly seeker. But that foul ball is seeking out the ugliest player in the dugout. There was a legendary dugout, legendary dugouts that had no no roof, no shelter, nothing above. All you have to do is go down to Florida, longtime Grapefruit League home of the Dodgers in Vero Beach. All it featured was the bench, no shelter, no roof. And when it comes to the bench, you think about substitutes, they ride the pine. They're sitting there for a while. So they're bench warmers, warming up their seat. The bench inside the dugout, now with a roof over your head and stay behind that railing. Watch out for ugly seekers, all dug down to give the fans the view. That is today's tale from the Baseball Thesaurus.